There were no marching bands or cheerleaders per se, but today's event had all the earmarks of an up with Camden pep rally, with the mayor, two former governors, corporate and union leaders praising the progress here in the last five years. They're pushing back against any perception that the tax incentives that made a lot of this progress possible were a case of small bang for big bucks. This is not easy to pull together, but when it works, when you have the team of people that we have in Camden who have already invested their time, their effort, their resources, their money, and it doesn't matter where they're coming from, people come together to say, we are going to restore this great city to the prominence that it has had in our history. But to be here as a Camden citizen who's been here through everything, through the good times, the down times, now the rising times of Camden, it's such a great honor to see us come back this way. It is a day-by-day -day process, and the folks who talk about these tax credits you see was taking place here besides the businesses coming in. As the father of New Jersey's tax incentives, which have attracted more than $17 billion of business investment and created and saved more than 100,000 jobs, I come not to bury tax incentives, but to praise them. But there are plenty of people along the tough streets of Camden who question whether progress, incremental or otherwise, is reaching all of Camden's residents. I remember a time when, when Broadway was Broadway. You know, uh, any city you go in, uh, you got Broadway, but, but then, you know, you find Broadway with a, a lot, all types of businesses, stores and things of that nature. Yeah. It was one, once, at one time, Camden had that. But now, what are they putting up on Broadway now? What's on Broadway now? Outside the press conference at the Florio Center, demonstrators further made the case that the corporations benefiting from the tax cuts have done much better than the people of Camden, with pointed references to power broker George Norcross. Back inside, the man in whose think tank everyone was gathered addressed a controversy that inspired this pep rally and attracted all the press. He offered to bring the southern and northern factions together in the best interest of Camden and New Jersey. What we can't be having is defamation by anecdote, defamation by just somebody's whispering. Whispering and rumors and st stories as to what might be a case is something that can un make an area unstable. The business community doesn't respond well to the whole idea of that potential problems that are hanging out there. This was a feel-good event for all those involved, but even the most optimistic inside would acknowledge that the Camden Renaissance, such as it is, has not reached all corners of this city. In Camden, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.